Why is there creepy music accompanying this? Why is there creepy music? August 14th. Woo! Was the mistake on page 12? No, it wasn't page 15. The title and contents don't match. Or not. Then what kind of mistake did I make? Uh, maybe it was a bad idea to change the font of the page numbers. How am I missing 350 words? Huh? Good morning. Are you up? Dude, I feel his struggles, okay? <laughs> ha. Huh. I mean, I can do format now, like, without really thinking about it. But, like, not having enough words is always something you struggle with in college. It's just, it's a bitch. <laughs> Really? Because, like, I can perfectly present my case and still not meet the word count. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but I actually have to drop by the university right now. It seems like there was a mistake on the report I turned in recently, and the professor just contacted me. This report will definitely affect my grade, so I need to fix it. I'm going to fix it in person. That's a very forgiving professor, yes. I'll be back by lunch, so just behave yourself here, okay? Okay. Thanks for the obedient response. I'll try to be back quickly. And don't go outside. Got that? He left. Good morning, bunny. I didn't show myself because you were talking to Toma. Sorry if you expected me sooner. I wonder what Tom is studying at school. He seems really busy. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> me? I actually want to go into the legal profession if I can. Although I know it's hard to get in. <coughs> Something like an attorney or a prosecutor. What do you think fits me best? Huh. <coughs> <laughs> You want to go into teaching, right? I wonder if we could attend any lectures together if you get into my university. Huh? <laughs> Man, I can't get used to this feeling, no matter how many times I experience it. But this is good. You managed to remember another thing. <laughs> Thomas said, if you get into my university. So maybe this was back when you were still in your third year of high school? Sounds like Thomas studying law. <coughs> <laughs> I think it would suit him, but it's strangely intimidating imagining him like that. In a suit. Ooh. Oh, I, I have a thing for suits just to provide context to that comment. Okay. <clears throat> ah, looks like the Disney dizziness is starting to settle down. That's good. Anyway, I guess we should behave ourselves today like Thomas said. Or not. <laughs> you know, Bunny, I realize that it's dangerous to walk around right now, but... Want to try going to your place? We should go there and get a good grasp of the current situation. The things happening right now, what's being done to you? And I want to find some clues that'll point to the culprit and the reason why they're doing these terrible things to you. Well, I want to know, but I think you should know for yourself as well. I'll be watching the entire area around you today. Make sure nothing like yesterday happens. But I know it's still dangerous out there regardless, so I'm not going to force you. We're going. I'll go. Thanks, Bunny. It's scary, but let's do our best. We can't lose to the kingpin behind all this bullying. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, first I'll go and take a look around. I need to know how things are right now. Don't leave this place. Just hide and try not to get close to the apartment. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. Huh? <coughs> <laughs> this is terrible. It would be best if you didn't look. They did the mailbox again. Is this squid ink? It's all covered in something like that. The door to your place is plastered with papers, too. They've all got rumors about you written on them. 
It's mostly the same as the messages you got before, just simple things like idiot and break up. The break up one is kind of making me curious. Would that mean they've got something to do with Toma? They could even be Toma stalkers or something. Looks like you can't go home yet, just like Toma said. We should stay at his place for a while longer. Bless you, kitten. Bunny? Huh? I told you to say put. What are you doing here? Ha! Ah, it's Toma. He found you. You! Whatever. Just come with me. There's strange music now. What? Toma! You're squeezing Bunny's hand too hard. It, it hurts. Did you seriously think you'd be okay just wandering around on your own? Yesterday was just your hair, but somebody could stab you or something next. I, I wouldn't let them... I, I was just keeping a lookout for around her. Oh, right. He can't hear me. Ugh! Didn't I tell you before? If you're going outside, tell me. You can't even do that. Oh, what? Was there some way you wanted to go so badly that you're not telling me and risk getting killed? Y yes Oh, I see. So that's how it is. In the end, it seems like you'll just end up... it, And you'll just up and leave, no matter how much I try to stop you. No matter what I say, you trust someone else over me. I'll come down in an hour. Don't talk to me until then. He got really mad. It might have been better to stay in the house like Toma told us to. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's okay, Orion. Huh? Hey, this is the first time since we met that you've called me by my name. Thank you, buddy. That makes me really happy. <laughs> I'll work harder. I'm going to do my best to help. Even more than before, to make sure you have a happy future. <coughs> Bunny, let's go to sleep. I'm turning off the lights. Good night. And also, come over here. Sheesh. If you come over here so obediently, I won't know whether you've forgiven me or you just don't see me as a man. Can you tell me one thing? Do you like me? Ah, oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> yeah. Time, time to save. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. Um. Well. Okay. So I feel like the girls are after us because we were with Ikiyu. Because that would make sense. From what I, from what I know of Ikiyu's route, that would make sense. All of the, all of the, the um, harassment and threats and such. Not all of them. I mean, I I Yukio has his own deal, but... Or Akio, I don't know. Yukio has his own deal. But like... Everything besides that is because I feel like it's because we were dating Ikyu and not him. So to say I do right now would impede our progress, you know, at finding out the truth and whatnot. So I'm going to go with, I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. I just don't want to see you cry. I don't like it when you're sad or when you're hurting. I want you to smile and I want to let you smile. That's why to do that I don't care if you end up hating me. That's what I've decided. <laughs> this is really painful. I want to be kinder to you than anyone else. But I can't. No matter what, I can't. 
That's an interesting jumble of words, he said just then. August 15th. What did you want to drink with breakfast? Coffee? Black tea? Green tea? Did you want anything in particular? I keep just giving you whatever I think of every morning, but you don't complain at all. If you're not satisfied, I'll try to improve the selection I have. If I can, that is. I mean, I do have no job and I'm living on my own. Oh, that's not good. The pot's empty. I, I need to add more water. Looks like yesterday didn't have a lasting effect. Or he might just be acting that way. But, you know, about Thomas' attitude last night before going to sleep, there's something that's bothering me. He seems sad, I think. He was hugging you, but he had this really sad look on his face. It didn't seem like he was mad at anyone, but it almost looked like he was mad at himself. Yeah, we're cruising for a bad ending here. <laughs> Here's some food. Are you still feeling groggy? You're super disoriented. You should eat up quick. I still have reports to write. It would be bad to get in Toma's way, so let's talk later. Well then, let's eat. Eatakimasu. That was my weeb side. I, I promise it won't come out again. Hey! Hey! Hey, it's already evening! That was a long nap you just had. Did you not sleep all last night? Maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Hey, are you okay? Are you not able to think straight from sleeping so much? Good morning, bunny. I was surprised you fell asleep right after you finished eating. Were you tired? You were sleeping really peacefully, so I didn't try to wake you up. See, you really were sleeping this whole time. Well, thanks to that, I guess I was able to make a lot of progress on my report. Having a sleeping beauty around isn't so bad. But don't you get hungry, sleeping th through lunch like that? Well, I guess not. It's not like you're moving around. But we'll have dinner in a little while. Make sure you're awake by then. Ha <laughs> ha. That nap made the whole day go by. We couldn't do anything. Ah, uh, what's done is done. We'll just work harder tomorrow. It's not like we move around right now anyway. I'm afraid of Toma getting mad. We'll think about the details tomorrow. We should focus on getting rest today. I just hope you can sleep properly at night after napping like this. August 16th. Good mo- Whoa, your hair's a mess. And you've got sheet marks on your face. That happens because you lie on your face when you sleep. Look in the mirror. Hey, I lie on my face when I sleep, and I haven't gotten any sheet marks. Good mo- Oh yeah, you should take a look in the mirror, too. Although- Looking won't make those marks go away. You fell asleep right after eating dinner yesterday, too. You sure do sleep a lot. Anyway, Tom is making breakfast, so you should go wash your face. I know what's going on right now. Five minutes later. Here you go. There's plenty of coffee, too. Yay, I guess you should eat. Huh? Bunny, are you still tired? Damn it. H hey, what's wrong? Are you okay? Can you hear my voice? Are you awake? Bunny? It's already five in the evening. Are you still sleepy? You sure did sleep a long time. Do you feel refreshed now? You fell asleep after eating breakfast today, too. I didn't know you napped so much. Come on, wake up. You've got a crazy bedhead again. Ah, oh, looks like you're finally focused. Did you take a lot of naps all the time at home, too? Are you forcing yourself awake here? If you're sleepy, you can nap as much as you want. 
I feel a lot better when you're somewhere in sight, too. I almost wish you would just keep sleeping here forever. You always push yourself when you're awake, you silly princess. You might have Thomas support, but you can't just sleep from morning to evening every day. You can't do anything like this. You can't recover memories or find the person who's trying to hurt you. You always used to sleep around seven hours a day before, but suddenly you're sleeping so much. What's wrong? I know what's going on, but I can't... can't say it. I mean, it's probably obvious, but... You're all twitchy, kitty. Are you okay? August 17th. Mm, you doing okay? <gasps> Wake up, bunny! Wake up! This is bad! You need to listen to me! Oh, it's not good. You're all spaced out still. Pull yourself together! Hey! Bunny! Hmm, are you up? <gasps> good morning. Although it's already past five in the evening. You sure do sleep a lot lately. We'll be eating soon, so make sure you're awake by then. Listen to me, Bunny. You can't eat anything Toma makes for you. You saw him just a minute ago. Toma was mixing... Oh, I saw him just a minute ago. Toma was mixing some sort of medicine into your tea. Could that have been some sort of sleeping drug? I'm sure Toma mixed some sort of sleeping pills into your food to keep you asleep all this time. He's trying to keep you from leaving the house. Let's see. Huh. No chopsticks and a spoon. Wouldn't work as a substitute. Ah, we don't have time to think. For now, you need to fake being sick or something and avoid eating anything. Huh? Someone's here? What? Why are you here all of a sudden? What do you mean all of a sudden? You're the one who called me, so I came over. I'm coming in. Ah, it's Shin. Hi, wait, don't just barge in. Shin! Bunny, why is she here? You know, it seemed like she wasn't at home for several days. And it's lagging a bit. I came here to ask you if you knew anything about it. So what's the meaning of this? First you come in without asking, then... This isn't your house, you know. Just answer me. What's going on here? There were circumstances. I'm sheltering her. Sheltering. Yep, sheltering. Protecting her from danger. What the hell? And you didn't even tell me? No, I'm not yelling at you, Cat. Calm yourself. Okay. I'm sorry for not telling you, but she's consented to this too. Right, Bunny? Not exactly. <laughs> yes, please, Shin, take us away from here! <laughs> Not exactly. I knew it. There's no way she would stay at your place on her own. And if you force her to come here, there's no way she would just sit by and stay like this peacefully. That's harsh. Why would you think that? That should be obvious. It's because she said herself that she didn't want to see you. Oh, really? She's only been here because you forced her to come, am I right? I don't know. Are you? You seriously think that attitude of yours doesn't piss me off? I don't think that. I just don't care whether or not you get angry about it. Oh, oh, I get it. You're just the same as always, Toma. I saw the pranks being done to her place. It was pretty bad. And I realize it's better for her not to be there because of it. But she doesn't have to stay at your place. She could go to a motel or one of her friend's houses. There are a lot of options. Why didn't you let her do that? Instead, you told nobody and put her under house arrest in your apartment. I wonder why. Why do you think? There's no need to even think. Toma, all you wanted to do was keep her locked up in your possession. 
I can't deny that. I really did feel that way. But I have other reasons for keeping quiet. I don't trust anybody but myself in this matter. Not even you, Shin. I'm sure. That's just the kind of person... 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure. That's just the kind of person you are. So now that you know the situation, would you mind going home? To be honest, <laughs> I don't want you to be... want you to be around here either. You seriously think I would just agree to go home? I do. Once you realize that this is the best solution. Mind coming outside, Shin? I don't want Bunny to hear what I am about to tell you. Don't follow us, Bunny. If you do, I'm going to skip all this peaceful talk, knock Shin out, and confine you both here. What? You've got to be joking! I'm serious. We haven't fought since fifth grade, but it could be interesting to see who wins now. Fine, I'll listen at least. Let's go. They left. Maybe they're talking in the hallway? Hey, maybe we could listen on their conversation. But it would be bad if Toma found out. What should we do? Uh, is there anything we could do before those two come back? And besides, what do you think about the situation? <coughs> do you want to escape or would you rather stay? I trusted Toma before, but not anymore. He's kind of scary. But if you still like Toma, even after all this, if you still want to try believing in him, I go along with you. This is your life, after all. You're the one who has to live on your own memories after you return. Uh, on, on your own after your memories return. That's why... Bunny... <gasps> They're back! Shin understands now, Bunny. What? Although I still don't agree with this. You don't have to agree with it today. It's fine if you just go home quietly for now. Anyway, you'll just keep things as they are now. Is that good? It's not good. I'll have you let Bunny out of here as soon as possible. I'll make sure of it. Shin... Would you mind just doing nothing? Leave this matter to me. What? Why? I told you. I don't trust anyone. That's all there is to it. Toma, you son of a... Can you get angry when you're alone? What good will it do to start yelling here? My only priority is protecting Bunny. I don't care about anything else. Not you. Or anyone. The hell? Does that mean you don't even care what Bunny thinks of you? That's right. Ultimately. <sighs> this is like a curse. I think so too. See you later, Shin. Be careful on your way home. <sighs> I'll go home for today. But if anything happens, call me right away, Bunny. Thomas said he can't trust me, but I feel the exact same way about him. I don't want to leave you in his hands. It's not like he's your boyfriend or anything. What? What did he say? See you. Did you hear that just now? Da da dots. Oh, would causing a ruckus work? I feel like causing a ruckus is what we need to do. But it's gonna suck. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick. <sighs>